Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro, the Mi 9T Pro, codename Raphael, Raphael in whatever you want to call it. One of my favorite phones and one of my favorite ROMs is here and today I sound really really excited because it is a Pixel Experience ROM and it performs great. It gives good benchmark numbers, it gives good frames in gaming and it is Pixel Experience. So that's really, really exciting. So let's get into this initial impressions video. But before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will have a link to our Telegram community where we have more than a thousand people helping each other and having all the fun in the world. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get pixelated right so pixel experience plus or the normal pixel experience for that matter you do see it has a different version I read somewhere that it has perf kernel let's have a look at the change log real quick here we go Right, so this is PEASP official ROM based on the OSS vendor, right? If you're coming from any MIUI ROM, 11 OS, flash handwritten firmware only device, for more information, this is this because this is an OSS based ROM. And I was told by someone or I read somewhere that this comes with Perf kernel, but unfortunately it doesn't. So nonetheless, uh, my bad, but it does say that it comes with a pixel experience kernel. Now that is something new because not only this performs great, it's pretty pretty smooth, the battery life is pretty decent because we did stream with this particular ROM and it was doing great. So let's have a look at the change log first and then we can have a look at all the other things. So let's click on change log over here. There you go. This is the change log guys. June security patch, updated translations, updated G apps, improved face unlock, minor bug fixes, introduced app lock. That is a game changer for a lot of guys. Introduced per app volume control. That is good. Improve, improved power menu customization. So that's everything that you have and you have the normal version and then you have the plus version. Some features here and some features there. So. As I said, the ROM uses OSS vendor and P based on YAP kernel. Okay, so now we know what the kernel is all about. Now let's have a look at the face of this ROM, shall we? It looks completely like a Pixel device, if, if you will ask me after your flash Pixel experience. Well, anyways, that's the whole point of the ROM named Pixel experience. So at the front, you do have your usual home settings in which if you go to about you will notice that it's the pixel launcher or the pixel experience launcher to the left you have google discover and the app drawer is pretty pretty smooth pretty pretty fluid from the top to bottom you do get your notification tiles and if you go to edit you do have a ton of options that you can add over here and we make videos about custom roms every single day so it doesn't really make any sense for us to go to each and every option but i will tell you the features one by one now moving on let's actually go to settings over here and let's go to about and let's click on the android version build number is this kernel version is pixel experience and june security patch that is what you have over here now if you go to settings and if you go to security you will have face unlock which uses the front pop-up camera you will have fingerprint scanner for me the finger fingerprint scanner has been working absolutely fine even after leaving the phone alone overnight with fod or with always on display it still works absolutely fine the good thing here is you now have a built-in app locker which means you can go ahead and lock a particular application right and then if you try to open it it will ask you to use the fingerprint right as you can see or you can use your face or the pin or pattern whatever options you need now you would be asking me or a lot of people are asking me is siberia better or pixel experience better for bgmi for pubg for call of duty mobile for daily usage for stability 
Guys understand these are two different ROMs. They come with two different kernels and they have two different target audiences. Siberia is more of a fun ROM which gives you great performance. It has rock solid stability. It has a pro version which has a lot of other things fixed and stuff like that. This is a completely free ROM. This ROM comes in two flavors and I'll tell you this both ROMs are performing great. So if you're gonna ask me choose one of the two when it comes to the performance part well i'll just do eeny meeny minor more because trust me the benchmark numbers are pretty close the smoothness is pretty close and again you know this is a 60 hertz amoled display so the smoothness is there when it comes to am you know aosp roms and stuff like that if it were a 120 or something then we would have noticed it even more in detail but all in all what i'm trying to say here is it doesn't make any sense for me to get into each and every option which i have showed you a ton of other times like if you go to system you have gestures this that and all that options so everything that was already there in pixel experience is already there with this particular update they have introduced a new kernel they've got some fixes done they've added face unlock and for me as a daily driver this has been working absolutely fine if you are someone who wants to use the banking application your safety net passes just fine widevine l1 amazon prime video is working perfectly okay now with that out of the way before we actually go ahead and end the video let's talk about the benchmark numbers so first we will talk about the cpu throttling test right so let's go to screenshots there you go CPU throttled to 91% of its max performance. So this is pretty, pretty decent, pretty, pretty good for a 15 minute test. Now moving on, we will talk about Geekbench, single core 745, multi-core 2521. Now trust me for a 855, this is a very, very decent score. We did take the effort of going to Antutu as well. So let's see what Antutu has to say. 541,481 is the score over here, right? So, you know, all in all, what I can say is the ROM is pretty awesome. Earlier, there was a thinking, there was a myth that Pixel Experience ROMs are for daily use, they are not for gaming. I guess they are trying to break that stereotype with giving you amazing performance and daily driver stability as well. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this new face of Pixel Experience Plus for the K20 Pro. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.